Greetings everyone, Joseph Kursky here from ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute, here to talk with you about spatial thinking, spatial analysis with GIS, Geographic Information Systems. Folks, thanks for being with me today. We're going to be discussing how Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, can be used to look at our world, our community, our region in a spatial context. In other words, space. Looking at relationships, patterns, and trends as they manifest themselves on the landscape. And today, specifically, we're going to be talking about Colorado ski areas with GIS. ESRI is a company that is headquartered in California and has offices all around the world. And what we do here is we help people, support people, uh, to use geographic information systems, whether in business, nonprofit organizations, government, industry, and education. GIS is an excellent tool for teaching spatial concepts while focusing on interesting topics in real places. And what do I mean by spatial concepts? I mean those things that have to do with relationships, patterns, associations on the landscape at a local, regional, national, and international scale. There are plenty of interesting topics in real places. One example is to investigate the spatial pattern of ski areas. Ski areas, by their very nature, are spatial phenomena. Their existence depends on global, regional, and often extremely localized weather patterns. The skill level required and excitement of different ski runs represents a close connection with the local terrain. Right, folks? Yahoo! Most ski, ski areas have turned into year-round resorts and have spawned development and changed the development and economies of their vicinities and even in entire regions. Although many ski areas are on land leased from national forests, the habitat, vegetation, soils, and drainage have all been altered from the original forest in what oftentimes are fragile mountain ecosystems. Ski areas, like golf courses and other large land areas used for recreation, have their proponents and opponents, and discussing them makes for excellent debates in classes. Folks, think about it. All ski areas have a spatial component. They are on certain kinds of terrain that have a certain kind of climatic condition. They're on certain kinds of slopes. Those slopes have different steepnesses, right? They face different directions. And so we can analyze ski areas and the causes and effects of ski areas quite well with a geographic information system. A geographic information system is a decision support system created to make everyday decisions smarter, better, uh, more effective. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the relationship of ski areas in Colorado to cities, to interstate and state highways, to mountain ranges, to vehicle traffic, to the direction of slope, to the amount of slope, and a whole lot more. So I hope you'll join me and I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, baby!